book of Isaiah, we have this passage. Isaiah, the great, mighty man of God. He had a sorrow in his heart because the king died. So apparently, my interpretation, as you read Isaiah 6, he went to pray. And as he was praying, he had this vision of Jehovah, God, lifted up high. And, and, and he was among the, 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 the seraphims in the fire of the altar. This mighty vision. But then his robe filled the temple. Amen. The temple was filled with the presence of God. Hallelujah. His robe covered the temple. And he said, oh, I'm a dead man. I've seen the glory of God. I've seen the glory of God on the temple. And you know, God took care of him. He didn't die. And um, there's another uh, Levite, a composer too, that he had an issue in his life. And when he was going through that issue, uh, he said, uh, what am I going to do? Have you ever been in a situation where you know it all and you're so smart that you, that, you, know, you scare yourself being so smart? <laughs> and you know it all and I mean, you, you're there, but you come in your life in a situation where you don't know what to do. Come on, let's be honest. I mean, you know it all, but where do I go from here? What, I, what am I going to do next? What now? I have brought myself many times in situations like that. Teaching the people. Appreciating the internet. But there comes times in my life where I Things that overwhelm me, things that come and I say, God, what am I going to do? It reminds me of uh, my brother-in-law, a very good friend. Not only was he my brother-in-law, but we were good friends. Gilbert, Lily's uh, brother. And this man was very smart. He started... Uh, gardening, cleaning yards, he got in the post office, he became a postmaster, he got bad business, he bought the donut, donut shop over there in La Puente, and he had houses, business. And one time he told me, I want to become a millionaire. And uh, he got sick. And uh, uh, Lily was with him, I wasn't there. And, and in that time of being so sick, the doctor came to him and said, you know, you're going to die in an hour. You know, because doctors are cruel. <coughs> seen 
in the sanctuary of God. The presence and the beauty of the Lord and the beauty of you all. Hey, a verse. You're not crying, huh? The beauty of you. You're beautiful when you're in the house of God. Because you, you serve God because you have God. And uh, Lily and I really love you. We really love you. And we want to we want to serve you, care for you. This man, as as Aspen, Aspen, a singer, he got a little trouble because he was in the ministry, and uh, um, he said, you know, why does People that do not serve God have more money than I have money. And I have. Has that ever happened to you? Of course it has. Why is it that I serve the Lord? I come to church. I go to fit the home and I do all this and I do all that. And I see other people that are heathen, ungodly. And they have more money than I have. And I have they're driving good cars and they're, um, you know, they're good jobs. And uh, like the devil gives them prosperity too. What is that? But uh, that is a cold truth and the truth is truth. And this is what uh, As Aspen, Aspen says. For I was envious. This is a song. Oh, the boast, boastful. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, I got trouble. For there are no pains in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as I am. It looks like it. Pride serves as a as a necklace. Pride. My feet almost stumble, and my step almost slip. I almost fell. And I had to make I had to make a decision. Shall I continue here serving the temple? Or shall I go out there and be like them and, and you know and just build finances? Shall I stay here? What shall I do? You know, when you come to a place where you say, What is next? What do I want to do? I tell you what. Yes. 